over here we're melting some bulk lead. This is a safety reminder. Always make sure you're wearing your safety goggles. There's probably about 15 pounds in there. You're pouring it into making ingots. We're melting down later on. You can see obviously there's a lot of scrap coming from the fireways. And then we got a bucket, approximately about 80 pounds right there. So here we are, we're still uh, molten, uh, melting lead down. Let's see here, we got a, it's like mercury almost. This here is probably like a good 10 to 15 pounds. Got to kind of sift through it. It's so dense that uh, a lot of the waste gets stuck in the middle and you can see as I scrape at the film that kind of comes up on it there. What we do is we melt it, we clean it over here. You can see a lot of the leftover scrap. We're making some ingots down here for later use. Andy's at the port. Making some fishing weights for the upcoming 2011 fishing season for catfishing. We got Mr. Andy Wolfram pouring some null rolls. Nice, shiny, sharp looking holes. Oh, look good. Reload. Work table doing egg sinkers. And we fill up the pouring station with the hot lead already. So that doesn't have to work as fast when he's able to work. And uh, what we're actually running into is our molds. We have to take breaks every so often because our molds are getting overheated. All in all, it's a pretty fast, efficient system. We're going to probably end up melting down close to 125 pounds of lead here, and we've only been going for not even two hours yet. More to come. Dirty lead here, but we just we'll clean it next time we do it. But it's a good way to get the majority of the impurities off, and then it's in an easily workable, meltable form next time you want to work with it. You'll break your molds up. As you can see, that one's got a crack, and she's spouting hot lead out the side there, but. There's our lead milk for the day. Awesome.